Welcome everybody, we're going to be talking about classes today, but before we do that, uh, we've got some big news. We're moving to a new server. It is called univac.csiforex.com. In order to connect to it, you have to be vpn in to the server, so uh, random people on the internet uh, can't try hacking the server. Only people in the class can, can do that. Um, <laughs> so in order to connect to the new server, um, inside of PuTTY, uh, that's the IP address. Uh, again, if you try connecting, like I'm not on the, uh, I'm not on the VPN right now, you'll see it just won't connect. It'll just refuse to connect. Um, one thing I will highly recommend is that you install a nerd font. And so, um, let's see if I can find the, uh, nerd font. Yeah. Here we go. And so what you do is you go to this guy's page here, Ryan Oasis nerd fonts. And he's got a set of patched fonts that have extra icons for things like the uh, Linux uh, Penguin and things like that built into it. And they got a bunch of fonts here that are, it's kind of fun to play with, honestly. Uh, hack, I've used uh, Fira. Code is my go-to. Cascadia is also my go-to. I kind of bounce back and forth between those depending. And then Source Code Pro. Uh, right here is my other go-to. It's got a weird eye, though. The eye on it has this long line going to the left. Um, anyway, so what you do if you want to install one of these things, like if you want to install uh, Thera code, the nerd font for it, click on that. It's going to give you a download. Just there, wasn't I? Uh, releases. Okay, there we go. Okay. All 131 assets, all 131 assets, go down to firacode.zip and then save that onto your desktop or wherever you want to put it. And then you right click, uh, extract it. Then you get a folder of all the different versions of Fira code. Just select them all, right click and choose install for all users. And then that'll put the, um, the font on your Windows machine. So after you have that installed, then you can come over here and uh, you can go to appearance on PuTTY and right here under the appearance tab, you can change the font and you can see I've got these various nerd fonts installed on here. Um, you can pick the one you want. I'm using bold 20 point because I'm recording these and I want it to be easy to read for students. Uh, so let's say I, I pick nerd bold uh, source code pro and then you hit OK. And if you want, you can save that after you've got um, settings you like. After you got settings you like, um, uh, you know, you, you go there, you change the font, and you come back here and hit save. And then that'll save the connection, the IP address, the font, the font size, all that kind of stuff. And uh, then you will have. Um, Uh, you'll have different uh, icons installed on. Let's go to insert mode, maybe. On the new server. And uh, the new server will have more detail on the, the bottom bar down here. Um, it'll have things like the type of the... Uh, the type of the file that you're reading and, and things like that. So that's pretty exciting. That's that's good times. Uh, I'm pretty excited for the new server. It's got a lot more capability than the old server and I don't have to pay for it. I have been paying uh, 60 bucks a month out of my own pocket uh, for a while now. Uh, I started teaching in 2015. So uh, originally I was paying 30 a month and then uh, after we did auto completion and things like that, that raised the requirements. And so I've been paying 60 a month. So you can, do do some math as to how um, uh, dedicated I am to your education. Okay, so uh, you know I'm going to stop this lecture, make it a separate video, and then we'll start about classes.